Hey, podcaster. I'm Tim Wahlberg, your podcast performance coach with another actionable tip so you can grow your podcast authority, generate leads, and convert with ease. Today's tip is master the art of growing your audience using guest exchanges the right way. You've heard of a podcast exchange, right? Sounds like a great idea, but there are a lot of ways that it can go wrong. In today's episode, I'm laying out all the basics so you can benefit from great guest exchanges and avoid the time-sucking mismatches. So, in case you don't know, what is a podcast guest exchange? This is when you invite someone to be on your show and they do the same. You appear on each other's shows. This could be back-to-back, a collaborative shared episode which appears on both podcasts or episodes strategically spaced to spread out the appearances over time. There are two ways that this comes about. Either you invite them and suggest an exchange or they invite you and suggest an exchange. Now, there are exchange groups you can participate in, but I don't generally recommend them, and you'll understand why in just a minute. So, on the surface, guest exchanges seem like a win-win. You get in front of their audience, and you get a guest on your show. But there are a few times when this is a mismatch, and why many of those exchange groups don't work. They can work, some are great, Just keep an eye out for these three mismatch flags. Mismatch flag number one. You need to be sure that the person who will be coming on your show actually has something of value to share with your audience. Your audience is the most valuable thing you have when it comes to your podcast. The audiences are the currency in this exchange. You are taking advantage of the opportunity to get in front of their audience and you are paying for it with access to your audience. Do not do it at your audience's expense, aka make them listen to an interview with someone who doesn't benefit them. Don't sacrifice the trust you've built in your audience just because you owe someone an appearance. If you are building your authority with your podcast, then who you invite on your show is a reflection of that authority. Don't compromise it. Mismatch flag number two. Is the audience of the other show an audience you can provide value to? Yes, this does go both ways. You don't want to be on a show in front of an audience that has zero interest in what you do. Or worse, go on a show and talk about something completely unrelated to what you do and what your brand stands for. I saw this happen to one of my clients who was really excited about being invited on a show by one of her fans, but the audience was literally the opposite of her target. And she was forced to talk about something she happened to be very knowledgeable about, but that had nothing to do with her brand or her show. So there was really not a lot of benefit. And mismatch flag number three, consider the quality and caliber of the show that you will be a guest on. Okay, this might sound a little bit podcast snobbery and should be a deal breaker, but consider this, the size of their audience compared to yours. If their audience is significantly smaller than yours, then the scales aren't exactly even, like 20,000 downloads compared to 20 downloads. Okay, that's a big gap, right? And consider the audio quality and overall impression of their podcast. Now, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it, just that you should consider whether a swap is warranted worthy of your time? And will this association with that other show help or hurt your brand? This brings me to my main point when it comes to guest exchanges. What is the goal? Before you start reaching out to people to pitch the idea or you start entertaining offers coming in, be really clear about why you're doing it. What is having them on your show going to do for you? What is the outcome you are looking for? And what are you hoping to accomplish by being on their show? Some goals might be to grow your audience, to borrow someone else's authority by associating yourself with them, maybe to get in front of a small but very highly aligned audience. That's okay. There are a lot of reasons you could be doing the exchange, but I suggest you know what the goal is so you can properly assess each offer and be intentional with the offers you make. Now, I'll say this too, not every proposed guest exchange has to be an exchange. If it's determined that only one of the two appearances is a fit, so be it. 
Being clear on your why and watching out for these flags will help you know. Does this guest benefit your audience? Can you as a guest serve their audience? Does their show align with yours on size, niche, and quality? Of course, it's your show, your brand, and your business, and you ultimately have control. If you want to appear on someone else's show from the goodness of your heart, that's okay too. Maybe someone did that for you when you were first starting out. And one last tip here, whether you are the one doing the pitching or you're receiving requests for exchange, be really clear on the expectations, especially around promotion. Once again, you want things to be as equal as possible. So if you promote your episodes on social and with an email list, then you want to make sure they'll do the same and hopefully to an audience that's fairly similar in size to yours. And by the way, connecting and corresponding by email is perfectly fine. The key to getting the most with guest swapping is to go in with your eyes wide open, to know exactly what the goal is and to be discerning. You don't need to say yes to every opportunity, especially if that opportunity is going to make your listeners feel like you are taking them for granted. And I hope that's just the tip you need. Thanks for listening. I really appreciate you pressing play. And while you're just pressing buttons, why not press follow or subscribe on your favorite podcast app? It tells me you're serious about podcasting. Now, if you're podcasting for your business or thinking of starting a show so you can start using the power of podcasting as a marketing tool for your business, check out my coaching packages to start a show or tune up your existing show if it's underperforming. All the details are on my website. You can also book a free coaching call. Book your free 15-minute coaching call by using the link in the show notes or at podcastperformancecoach.com. I'm Tim Walbert. See ya!